Delhi recorded 131 COVID-related deaths on Wednesday, which is the highest number of fatalities due to the virus in a single day since the start of the pandemic. The total number of deaths in the capital is now close to 8,000. Close to 7,500 new coronavirus cases on Wednesday have taken the capital's COVID tally to over 5 lakh. The new cases came out of over 62,000 deaths conducted on the previous day, marking a positivity rate of 12.03% amid the festive season and rising pollution. The city is battling its worst phase in the COVID-19 pandemic and authorities have drawn up plans to reinstate some curbs such as lockdowns of some markets if necessary. Delhi Health Minister Satendra Jain on Wednesday said that there won't be any fresh lockdown in the national capital as there's no need for it. He, however, added that restrictions could be imposed in some crowded areas to contain the spread of COVID-19. Jain also asserted that Delhi is conducting testing on a large scale to diagnose the infection and the scale will be ramped up further for both RT-PCR and rapid antigen tests. According to the Health Minister, the third COVID wave in the capital has peaked and there's no need for a fresh lockdown. Four terrorists were gunned down by security forces in an early morning encounter in the Nagrota area of Jammu and Kashmir on Thursday. The gun battle started around 5 a.m. near the toll plaza in the Ban area of Nagrota on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway when terrorists opened fire on forces, police said. Jammu Srinagar National Highway has been closed due to the encounter. No traffic movement is being allowed from Nagrota and Udhampur's tilting area. The centre told the Supreme Court on Wednesday that Sudarshan TV's programme, Bindas Bol, on alleged infiltrations of Muslims in the bureaucracy has breached the programme code. The ministry has added that it has cautioned the channel of stricter penal action in case of future violations. The affidavit stated that the programme's content and anchors' utterances are not in good taste, offensive and have a likelihood of promoting communal attitude. The ministry said that the telecast of the remaining episodes of the program would be subject to the order of the Apex Court in the pending matter. Social media giant Twitter has apologized in writing to a key parliamentary panel for wrongly showing Ladakh in China. The Joint Committee of Parliament on Data Protection Bill Chairperson Minakshi Lekhi said on Wednesday. They have apologized for hurting Indian sentiments and have sworn to correct the error by November 30, 2020. She added, Twitter's deposition has come in form of an affidavit signed by Chief Privacy Officer Damien Karen for wrong geotagging of India's map, Lakey told PTI. The committee had come down heavily on Twitter last month for showing Ladakh as part of China, saying it amounted to treason. West Bengal BJP Chief Dilip Ghosh on Wednesday said Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Party National President Jagat Prakash Nadda will visit the state every month till the end of Assembly elections early next year. The two senior BJP leaders will visit the state separately every month to take stock of the party organisation ahead of the elections. Shah is likely to visit the state for two consecutive days in a month and Nadda for three days. BTI quoted sources. The BGP has divided the state into five organizational zones and put central leaders in charge of them with an eye on elections due in April-May next year. The Delhi High Court on Wednesday refused to interfere with Delhi government's decision to ban Chhat Puja celebrations at public places like ponds and riverbanks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The High Court dismissed a petition challenging the order of Chairman of Delhi Disaster Management Authority not to allow any gathering in public places for Chhat Puja on November 20th. The High Court said granting permission for the gathering will act as a super-spreader of the infection and dismiss the petition as being meritless. Mumbai police on Wednesday issued fresh summons to Bollywood actor Kangana Ranaut and her sister Rangoli Chandel for the third time after they failed to appear before authorities. According to ANI, police asked Kangana and Rangoli to appear at Bandra police station on November 23rd and 24th for questioning on allegedly promoting NMT between different communities, among other charges. Bandra police registered an FIR against Ranaut and her sister Rangoli for promoting an MT between different groups on grounds of religion, race, for deliberate acts of hurting religious sentiments and for sedition. Bollywood power couple Gauri and Shah Rukh Khan have partnered with a travel company to welcome people inside their Delhi home. The catch is, you have to first win a contest and the winner, along with one guest, will get to stay at the Khan home in Panchil Park free of cost on the eve of Valentine's Day next year.
Sharing the pictures of their luxurious Delhi house on Instagram, Shah Rukh Khan wrote that Gauri has redesigned the house and filled it with love and moments of nostalgia.